Now let's look at the sphericity of a cylinder. We'll take the example of a short cylinder where the length of the cylinder, this is the diameter, this is the length. So length of the cylinder equals the diameter of the cylinder. We define the sphericity as 6 over dp, sp over dp. We can define the equivalent diameter as the diameter of a sphere having the same volume. So if the diameter of the sphere is d sph, its volume is pi over 6 d hps cube. So this equals the volume of the particle. Now for a sphere, the volume is, we say the cross-sectional area becomes pi over 4 d squared and the length becomes L. So with putting L equals d, we get pi over 4 d cube. And for the sphere, the surface area, you get surface area of the cylindrical part pi d times l plus there are two circular part so two and the surface area of each of those surfaces is pi over 4 d squared now plug it in l equals d we have pi d squared plus half pi d squared. This gives us 3 over 2 pi d squared. Now to determine the equivalent diameter, this volume of the sphere equals the volume of the particle, which is pi over 4 d cube. So the diameter of the sphere, so which is by definition is considered the equivalent diameter of the particle will have pi pi get, get cancelled out we have the square becomes 3 over 2 d so we get pi s equals 6 over this 3 over 2 d and then sp is 3 over 2 pi d squared over the volume is pi over 4 d cube. So if you do further simplification, you will get up, you will get something value like 0 0.87. For the short cylinder with length equals to the diameter of the cylinder. Now again, according to the second definition, if we take the diameter equivalent diameter equals the diameter of the cylinder, we discuss about the two ways to define the equivalent diameter for some regular shaped particle. For short cylinder, when the length of a cylinder is equal to its diameter, the equivalent diameter is taken as the diameter of the cylinder. If we do this, you will end up getting again pi is to be 1 for this case as well. So again, for some regular shape particle, the equivalent diameter is defined in two ways. One is the equivalent diameter is defined as the diameter of, of a sphere having the same volume as the particle, or it can be defined as one of its dimension. For example, for this short cylinder, it's taken as the diameter of the cylinder itself. If you define that way, the pi s becomes one. That's why in your textbook, the values of this sphericity is given as one. Now, no matter how we define it, as long as we are consistent with the definition, the calculations of other properties of the particle will not be erroneous.